Okay, people, sorry about the lack of news updates lately, but I was away at Planet Comic Con, Kansas City. And me being me, packing at the last minute, forgot my microphone, forgot my camera, forgot everything. So, no news updates, no reviews. But now I'm back, and here we are, with news to talk about. Our Suicide Squad Harley Quinn action figure situation is well taken care of at this point. Over the weekend, both Bandai and Metacom showed off their versions. First off, the SH Figure Arts from Bandai looks fantastic. Man, it looks like Harley Quinn stepped off the screen, got struck down to 6 inch, and jumped on your shelf. Well... It will look like it jumps on your shelf whenever we actually get it. But it looks great. I mean, down to the little details. Look at the little knobs on her knees. It's just fantastic detail. And then Metacom turned around and showed their Mafex version. This also looks like a great action figure. It's just a little bit softer, maybe a little bit thicker. It looks great, and knowing me, I'll end up with both. But if it came down to it, I think I prefer the figure arts version. So far, I have a better track record with figure arts, even though it's only Star Wars and I only have the one Mafex figure. Figure, which is Darth Vader, and there's nothing wrong with the Mafex Vader. Figure Arts just seems to do it for me. But like I said, I'll end up with both. I'll be able to compare. And now, on to the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing. Right now, Playmates has uh, Secret of the Ooze figures out. Yes, they're just re-releases of the first movie figures, but with added accessories. Those are hitting now. That's cool. Over the weekend, we also got promotional pictures of the SH Figure Arts, Raphael and Michelangelo, finishing off the four brothers. Pre-orders went up for that directly afterwards. These look great with their die cast parts. They look just like the cartoon. And like I said, Figure Arts does it for me. So I've got those on pre-order. Turn around, NECA announces their San Diego Comic-Con 2016 exclusive of the video game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But what puts the cherry on top here is the addition of Foot Soldiers and Shredder. Six inch Shredder is what we have been waiting for forever. And now it's a Comic-Con exclusive. I understand that the rights are tied up. This is the only way they can get this out. And in the back of my brain, I keep thinking, in the past, they've said this is the only way you can get it, and then it pops up somewhere. But they seem to be pretty adamant about this not releasing anywhere else. Even though I am going to Comic-Con, and I'm going to try my damnedest to get these figures, I still have that underlying fear of not getting them. Yes, they are going to open up pre-order where you can order it and then just pick it up at the convention, but how much of a battle is that going to be with my crap internet and tendency to forget times? Will these release later? I don't know. Maybe they're just waiting. Maybe they're holding off on that, uh, trying to build hype for the convention, but looking at the license rights and what they have done in the past, I don't know. Now, they do come in two box sets. The turtles come in one box, the foot comes in the other box, and each box is $100, which this day and age is not too bad for four figures and then accessories. Check out Michelangelo's action nunchuck where it looks like it's spinning like the Marvel Select Thor. Love stuff like that. And yes, the paint jobs, it's that pixelated look. I like that. That is cool. And if this is the only way that NECA can get these turtles out, out. The secondary market is terrible, but I'm on the fence with these. I, I love them. I want them. But at the same time, I don't want to talk too much about them because if I can't get them, then I'm going to be pissed. And I know a lot of people not going to the convention are pissed. It's a double-edged sword. Yes, release them and get few of them out or not release them at all and nobody gets them. I don't know. It's a lose-lose situation for a majority of the people. In other news, I got an email. The Figma Hulk has been pushed back to July, which is okay. I've spent a little money. I went to that comic convention. The figure arts mace is coming out and there's a couple of other figures coming out. So I get to save money this month, but it pushes back to July. That's not a cheap month. So really anymore, is there a cheap month? But if it's because of QC, I'm good with waiting. It does look great. I'm interested in how it comes out and I definitely love the look. I'm excited about that. So if you like the news update, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh.